As Ukrainian artillery hits Russian troops, one of those scoping out Vladimir Putin's forces and directing the fire is not only a career soldier, but also a mom of three. Her call sign, Nizlamna, the unbreakable. I've seen so much at this stage that I can't be easily taken by surprise, she says, but of course there is a constant risk. Nizlamna has two daughters and a five-year-old son. She hasn't seen them since April. Is it tough, I ask? Of course, they get offended when I'm not there, when they need me as a parent, but they understand someone needs to do this work for our country, she says. And that work is often gruesome for those on the front lines here in the South. The 47th Mechanized Brigade gave us this video they say shows their troops coming under Russian fire even while collecting the bodies of their fallen comrades. Their U.S.-supplied Bradley fighting vehicles bearing the scars of relentless combat. This vehicle is really emblematic of just how tough the battle is down here in the south. You can see there's a lot of fire damage. Well, the Ukrainians say that's because this vehicle took hits from Russian artillery, 152 millimeter Russian artillery shells. And they say this is not an outlier. Most vehicles look like this. The troops say they are making headway, but often still get bogged down in Russian minefields and artillery barrages. Bradley driver, nicknamed Revo, recalls his toughest mission. The most scary situation was driving behind a demining vehicle while it was creating a pass for us, he says. We were coming under constant shelling. The rounds were landing a few meters away from us. Ukrainian forces remain badly outgunned. As the country's president, Vladimir Zelensky, is in the U.S. pressing the Biden administration for more ammo. Nizlamna says she will fight on for the future of her children. I want them to live in a flourishing country, she says. I said many times that our job is small. We only have to win back our borders, but they will have to rebuild the whole country, and that is a much harder job. And Erin, her husband actually serves in the same brigade as an artillery gunner. And she says there's sometimes situations where she scopes out and spots targets that he then fires at. But what we've been hearing from her and other peoples on the southern front line is that they tell us they need more weapons and they definitely need more ammunition. They say that they have the motivation, they have the skills, but now it's the weapons and the ammo that they really need to move forward. All right, Fred, thank you very much from Zaporizhia tonight.